Okay, welcome back to uh, Mr. Hassan's math channel. Question number nineteen from the international, uh, sorry, from the international GCSE paper two, February March two thousand and twenty. Um, here we have a question about drawing or a sketch of the cosine curve, y equals cosine x, between 0 and 360. Okay, this is something that is, uh, you should know how to do. You should know what the cosine curve and the sine curve and the tan curve look like. However, if it happens to be that you get confused or you forget, there's still no problem. All you need to do is to check with your calculator to see what the value of cosine of certain angles are so for example cosine of zero we know is equal to one and that's what your calculator would confirm if you use it so take out the calculator make sure that it's in degree mode which it is yep there's a little d there if it wasn't you'd press shift and the menu and algo unit and change it to degree which is would use it anyway and then you proceed so cosine of zero is equal to 1. I told you that already, but just in case you forgot, you can just make sure if you get confused, cosine of 0 equals 1, and then go to 90 degrees. If you want, you can even go to 45 and see what it's going to be if you want, but there's not a very good scale here, so it's no problem. It's just a sketch they want. Then you can go to cosine of 90 degrees and see what you get there. It's going to be 0, I know that. That's 0. And cosine of 180 is going to be minus 1. Again, you can check in case you're not sure. Yep, that's minus 1, so it's going to be down here somewhere. And then we've got cosine of 270, which is 0, and your calculator would, would confirm that. And cosine of 360, which is back up to 1 again. Okay, so these are the points that we plotted. They're not really plotted. We're just showing these points. Okay. And then we can draw our sketch. Now, the sketch... It has to be a curve, curve shape like this. So it goes down like this. It goes through. No, mm -hmm. You have to be careful not to make silly mistakes. You have to be careful to make it a smooth curve. Uh, I think that should be okay. Just at the end here, it's a bit weird. It's supposed to be reaching that as its maximum. So it should be going a bit more like like this something like that yeah that's a bit better shouldn't have multiple lines just one line okay so there we have y equals cosine x the best i could do with this pen here but this that should get you the two marks then it says solve the equation for cosine x plus two equals three for x value between zero and 360 so the first thing we got to do is make cosine x the subject of this. So you have 4 cosine x plus 2 equals 3. So take away 2 from both sides. So 4 cosine x equals 1. And then divide by 4. So you have cosine x equals a quarter. Okay, so you've got to find all the values of x where the cosine x equals a quarter. And if you think about what it looks like on the curve, a quarter is about here. So we can see that there in this range, there are two values of x where y is equal to a quarter, where the curve meets a quarter. So what we can do now is to find the first one, you use our calculator. We say x is equal to inverse cosine of a quarter. That will give us what's called the principal angle. Okay, so we have inverse cosine of a quarter. Inverse cosine of a quarter. We're in degree mode, so we're fine. And that gives us 75.522. 75.522. Okay, that's the first angle. Now, in the cosine curve, there's another angle which also shares the same ratio. So when you put inverse cosine of the ratio, the calculator will give you just one solution, which is this solution over here. But we can see there's another solution over here as well. How do you find that solution? Well, it's pretty simple because I know that this length is what we found was 75.522. And because of the symmetry of this curve about 180, the mirror line, this distance here is also 75.522.
So if I did 360 minus 75.222, I will get the angle that I need. Because 360 is the whole way across. So you're going to have 360 minus that will give us what we need. The size of the angle, okay, where, which is the same cosine ratio as a quarter. So we take 360 minus our last answer. So we've got 360 minus 75.522, and that should give us the correct answer. So 360 minus this answer gives us 284.4775. 284.477, continuing. So therefore, we have the two solutions, which are 75.5 rounded to 3SF, and one decimal place, sorry, and you have 284.5 rounded to, uh, that's rounded to actually to the nearest, to one degree, to the nearest degree, one decimal place, as angles should be. Okay, so that's 75.5 and 284.5. Don't round 284.5 uh, to the nearest unit or to the nearest um, three significant figures. It has to be to one decimal place. Okay, and the question, does it say that? No, therefore it should be to one decimal place. Angles should be measured to one decimal place unless other s otherwise specified. All other numbers should be measured to 3SF and or rounded to 3SF if not exact. So there we have question number 19. The playlist for this paper will appear up, up here somewhere and the playlist for trig, trig equations and graphs will appear somewhere in this space over here. On the top of the page, you're going to have the I button, which you click to get the paper four playlist. And you can subscribe from this button over here, which is subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.